out there, Blake. You you let me know. You're the mastermind here. Ah, well, Grand Theft Auto V is getting a collector's edition, Bobarino. Uh, it's getting two uh, collector's editions, actually, if you want to be technical about it. Uh, so, first up, we have the Grand Theft Auto V special edition, which is going to feature some stuff. So, if you get the collector's edition of Grand Theft, or the uh, special edition, rather, I'm sorry, because that keeps screwing me up. Everything's special or collector's, and boy... Let's see. So the special edition comes with collectible steelbook with exclusive artwork, uh, stunt plane trials, uh, which are just extra challenges for you to do, uh, special ability boost. Uh, the special ability bar generates 25% faster. You get a blueprint map of Los Santos and Blaine County. Cryptic markings indicate locations for fast cash and other points of interest for up-and-coming entrepreneurs. Bonus outfits, tattoos, and more. Uh, special deals from shopkeepers, additional weapons, uh, uh, so you'll get, like, a pistol, a bullpup shotgun, and a melee hammer. Um, now, if you buy the collector's edition, you're going to get all that stuff, and then you will also get the sweet-ass security deposit bag with logo key. Uh, which is just like a stash box with a lock that is probably easily breakable. But it's got the Grand Theft Auto Five label on it, bros. Seriously, you're going to get custom characters for Grand Theft Auto Online, which also kind of confirms Grand Theft Auto Online. Not that everybody didn't see coming, it was in the last one. Uh, you're also going to get a Grand Theft Auto Five New Era 950 snapback cap, yo. So people will know how much you love Los Santos, because it's got... Los Santos, written in Old English across its brim. Uh, and then you're also going to get unique vehicles and garage property, which means, uh, oh, check it out, 1930 style hot knife, hot rod, and the carbon RS sports bike. Uh, and for when you're playing online, you'll get the high-end chameleon electric car. Uh comes with a premium outer box with a foil embossed logo on the top, finished with a matte scuff resistant film lamination housing all of the contents. And if you want the special edition, it's only going to cost you 80 bucks. Uh, and if you want the collector's edition, that's going to cost you 150. Mm, 150. 150. So, what are your feelings about this, Blake? What are my feelings about this? Oh. Uh, damn, that's a lot of money for a game. That's true. That's, that's a lot true. of money for the game. The good news is, is anybody that pre-orders gets a blimp. You get access to fly the atomic blimp, no matter what you do. So so here's my thing about this, right? Yeah. So this being Grand Theft Auto Five and stuff, I mean, and it's like, a lot of these things are quite useless, and they're like, once again, fan service stuff. And I'm not that big of a Grand Theft Auto Fi fan, I'm. I swear, if this was like a Saints Row, the four, uh, Saints Row Four kind of special nonsense package with a Saints Row snapback, I might really think very hard about it. I mean, I have the Saints Row the third special edition with the the um, the headphones and everything. I have that set. Uh, I mean, I would really think about it if it was this. But what they should have really done, and this would have been done for good for marketing and for really selling these, if one of those keys. Like, like one of those packages had a key that, like, you know, gave you an Impala. Like, in real life or something. Like, you know? the key actually went somewhere? Yeah, like, one of those is a special edition key that, you know, that you, that you get a car or something. I feel they could push a lot of collector's editions just for that, you know, like, oh, you get a Grand Theft Auto. I mean, the game is called Grand Theft Auto. Why not give away a car or something with one of these special editions? It would give, you know... I mean, with the collector's edition, I feel it would do something for those people that give that much of a shit to pay one hundred and fifty dollars for a game. Well, you're that it would really give them a super incentive. Like, oh man, like maybe, like I'm if I'm a true collector, you have a chance to get a Grand Theft Auto Impala or some nonsense like well, that. Well, I I don't. That would be cool. Maybe they'll do that as a, a promotion, perhaps. But it comes out September seventeenth, so. 
you got until then to pre-order the game, and then uh, then you'll have it. And uh, a coupon in the box. I don't think Throw the Third comes out with like a purple American flag. Yeah, like with the Saints logo instead with of the Saints the logo. I'm telling you, I'd buy it for that nonsense. Like, yeah, <laughs> that would be rad. That would be super rad. I like the way you think, Bobby. You got Moxie. I'm telling you, I should I should work in the video games. Well, the games industry. The good news is, is <laughs> everybody gets a blimp. So there you go. So go pre-order at GameStop if you want, or don't. Pre-order it somewhere else. Pre-order it at Amazon. I don't know. 